We've been enjoying the beautiful sights of Guatemala from Antigua to Atitlan, but this week we are heading into the Guatemalan jungle to go see a beautiful gem, Semic Champi. So, we are up early at 6.30 this morning because it is our last morning in Atitlan and we have to catch a shuttle to Semic Champi and we have a long day. They say that it's roughly an eight hour drive to Semic Champi and we've had other people tell us three, other people tell us six, so we're gonna find out for ourselves. We took a tuk-tuk to the Lankine bus stop. It was a very unassuming place on a corner, but we were reassured that we were in the right spot. And also we didn't know if there was gonna be food on the shuttle at all, so bushel of bananas. They cost more than buying them in the States. The shuttle did finally come. We paid 375 quetzales per person, or around $48 for the shuttle to Lanquin. This is the easiest way to go. The cheaper way, for around 100 quetzales, or 13 USD, is taking chicken buses. However, be prepared to be crammed in a hot bus for several hours. We opted to pay a little more for comfort and convenience. About five hours into the drive to Lankine, we did get to stop for food at a little gas station restaurant. After about 30 minutes, it's time to get back on the road. Five hours later, we've arrived. To find the transportation to your lodging isn't hard as locals are standing there to greet you, loudly shouting out the different accommodations. You just need to listen for yours. What a freaking day. We were just in a van shuttle for the last Ten and a half hours. Ten and a half hours. Ten and a half hours. And now we're in the back of the truck. Holy cow. And when we got off the bus, all these people greeted us, like shouting all the different hotel and hostel names and like pointing at one different gringos. Calling us gringos because that's where we're staying. But it was. No, they were picking on us. They were also picking on us, calling us gringos and asking for bananas. But everyone was so fun, but I thought it was going to be really hard to find our shuttle. And no, like as soon as the door opened for the bus, all these people are shouting for like where we're going. And, and then it was super easy. From there, it's a gnarly 4x4 road eight miles further into the jungle. This is way cooler than I thought. I had not seen any photos or anything. I mean, I had of like the pool, but uh, this is cool. This is really nice. We stayed at Gringo's Hostel because it's within walking distance of Semic Champi. It has mixed dorm options starting at $16, or you can get a private room like the one we chose for around $50 per night. Good morning. Jungle hair don't care. Jungle hair don't care. Dude, for real. It's it so is, humid here compared to the rest of it's Guatemala. It's humid as heck, man. We are here at Semic Champi and we have found ourselves in a little bit of a... A little situation. A little bit of a situation. Anyway, last night we ended up getting here about 7.30 and we got picked up from Lake Atitlan at 7.00. 30 a.m. which is it was a very pretty, very long day pretty gnarly we um, knew it was gonna take up a day of our travel so um, you know so we were prepared we were prepared but uh, we had people tell us it was three hours people tell us it was six hours people tell us eight it was eight hours and it was like it 11 was hours um, but our driver was really good you know he wasn't yeah. just whipping us around the whole time yeah I mean he did a lot but not like the whole time not on purpose yeah. he was being considerate at least for the most part. But anyway, the situation we find ourselves in today is we got here to the hostel, which is, I mean, out Remote. in the jungle. We're, we were eight and a half miles or 10 kilometers on a uh, on a four by four road, straight four by four road from the nearest town. And when they told us that we were leaving Lane Keen, um, they said, hey, you know, get money out of the ATM if you need it. But that was all they kind of said, and so I did. I got an extra thousand quetzales. Well, sure enough, we got here, and we had to pay for our room in quetzales. There wasn't an option for a card, which is 
f that's fair, you know. Um, and then we had to put up money in advance for our food, which is kind of weird. Then we have to pay for everything we want to do here. And our transportation. And our transportation to, to Flores. Flores. That's kind of what kicked us. We were like, man, we don't have because enough Because we were like, oh, we, we were not expecting to have to pay for our transportation here before getting back to town. Right. And that's an extra 400 quetzales. So if you find yourself in the situation. Just bring all the money. Bring a lot of money. Maybe hide it in two or three different spots. So, Because yeah. now we're like sitting here. We're here for one day. And now we have to. And it's a need. it's 17 miles round trip on a 4x4 road back to an ATM, and we don't really have the cash to do what we were. We don't want to do hoping that. Hoping to do. So I think we're just going. I think instead of doing a tour, because we kind of we wanted to do a day. We're we're kind of travel at your own pace kind of people. So we wanted to go to Simic Champi, enjoy the pools, do the hike on our own. We didn't want to be part of a big mm. tour group. But we also wanted to go tubing and see the caves, but that you need to be part of a tour group. And so it's kind yeah. of like... And we still want to eat, <laughs> you know, yeah. so we don't want to like just spend our money on on so, the adventure side of things, but like But we, we did want to do, we did want to do like exploring on our own too. So I think we're just going to go that route, explore on our own. I don't need to go swim through caves holding a candle in my teeth. So yeah. Even though that sounds pretty adventurous and great. But I think we'll get plenty of fun doing the exploration on our own. And we'll be able to get more content because we can bring things that aren't necessarily waterproof. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. yeah exactly. Cool. So anyway, we're going to head out, get our day started. So we got some walking directions and we were on our way. This was a 12-hour trip to get here. We're finally in the jungle. Nobody's here yet, seems like. I'm sure there's some people down at Summer Champi in the pools. But it's so quiet. It's jungly. There's the sounds of the jungle. Ah, I just love it. We began at the Mirador hike. It took about 30 minutes to get to the top and was an absolutely incredible view. Semic Champi is a natural limestone bridge formed by collapsed rocks from the surrounding hills. The Cajabon River flows beneath the pristine turquoise pools and waterfalls. Hiking back down was just as steep, but you can hike down the back side, leading you straight to the Semic Champi pools. Besides the 50 quetzales for your entrance fee, you'll want to bring a small padlock to store any valuables you might have with you in a locker by the pools. Also, bring some eco-friendly sunscreen, water-safe hiking shoes like Chacos, and a waterproof camera like a GoPro so you can get fun shots like this. Oh. Okay, it's my turn. One, two, one, two three. It's 
today we are heading to Flores, which is near Tikal, which is a Mayan ruin. And Flores is actually a little city on an island. And apparently the waters are infested with crocodiles as well. So <laughs> no, but there are there. There are some good food in Flores. But it's all hearsay, so we're gonna go find out for ourselves.